good stock price fell off some six percent today in after hours trading to close at 96 97 point six dollars today over the last six months the stock price took a hit falling some 12 percent that is shaving 12 percent of shareholders value and not only that if you look at the stock price over the last 12 months Google stock price fell some 33 percent all right from its all-time high recorded in 2021 now google released its third quarter results today and those results miss analyst projection by 50 percent now we are expecting that come tomorrow google price google stock price will continue to trade down but in this video, what we will do is to give you an overview of Google's performance. All right, so when we look at revenue, revenue was up $3.9 billion or by 6%. All right, now constant currency revenue would be up 11%. So what that means is that the US dollar continues to be strong and remains strong against other major trading partners or u.s trading partners such as england such as europe and other economy around the world google gets a portion of its revenue from other economy so the stronger u.s dollar will depress or continues to depress google's revenue as those revenue will have to be translated to the stronger US dollar, the currency in which Google reports its results. All right, but when you look at um, the growth, the growth has substantially decreased over um, the, the, the quarter. All right, so 2021, third quarter, Google um, had growth of 41%, and we are now seeing growth of only 6%, even though that growth was aided by a weaker dollar all right we are saying that going forward we are seeing google revenue increasing as the dollar weakens as we are expecting that the dollar is supposed to normalize against other currencies all right other world currencies so that is our expectation that as the dollar weaken that will heed google um, performance going forward now if we break out the revenue we're seeing where google search remains the largest part of google's revenue and that increase a modest four percent not robust all right so that's not a robust growth for google search youtube ad and Google Networks saw a reduction in revenue. All right, so those YouTube content creators look out for a smaller check as YouTube ad drop off in revenue. This is expected, right? Because as the recession um, continues to be expected, as the economy and businesses continue to expect a recession even though nobody can say exactly when the recession will hit all right companies are pulling back on their advertising um, um, expenses all right so that's the first thing that companies normally cut when they are fearing a contraction in their businesses google cloud this is a new business that continues to grow all right and we're seeing where it revenue increased some 38 percent and google cloud added a uh, google cloud added some 6.8 billion dollar to the overall revenue so that's not a bad look however we are seeing some problems in the google operation as operating profit margin fell some 7% to 25%. So operating profit margin went from 32% last um, the last year over year, 32% to now 25%. That's a reduction of 3.8 
billion dollars. So that's not a good look. We want to find out what has caused the squeeze in Google's operating profit margins. All right. Now, looking at it from a segment perspective, Google service lost some $4.1 billion in operating profit. All right. So Google service, which is a larger part of the company's operation lost um, operating profit fell $4.1 billion to $19.7 billion. Google Cloud remains a loss-making business. So Google Cloud lose when you look at its operating profit. So what we're seeing here is that even though Google Cloud is growing exponentially, to us, it has not reached that economy of scale where the company um, or where the service will start experiencing growth in its bottom line and crawl out of that red, all right? So it needs to reach an economy of skill where it will become far more efficient than it is now. So we are continuing to watch the growth in that service. All right, but what we are seeing that caused the fall off in operating profit is the expense that the company is facing. Now, as you know, inflation continues to be a problem right across the world. It is affecting the US. The Federal Reserve is aggressive and continues to be aggressive. All right. And we're seeing where this inflation monster is impacting is eating away at google's profit all right so total expense was up at 7.8 billion dollar the cost of revenue was up at 3.5 billion dollars so most of that expense total expense was because of the cost of revenue all right so you can see where inflation is impacting the company's profit all right, so it is a cost of revenue that is pulling at the company's operating profit. Now, R&D expense is shining a little bit of light on the Google's operation, so it's not all doom and gloom. All right, so R&D expense increased by six, um, $2.6 billion. All right. But how we view R&D expenses that it's not too um, bad a thing, all right? So even though Google is expensing, Google is doing research and development now and expensing those um, money now, we are expecting that in the near future or in the future, um, these R&D expenses um supposed to churn out some more profit and some more revenue for google all right so this is a good look this is telling us that the future will be a bit brighter as these r d expense start bearing fruit all right one other thing that i don't want to leave out of the operation i mean the operating profit i need to say this is that Google experienced some paper losses in its operating expense. So these are some of the reasons why operating expense fell off. All right. So if you look at and this, the falling off of our operating for, um, expense, a quarter of the fall off in operating expense is due to the paper losses. What do we call paper losses? Paper losses is the reduction in the bonds that the company invests in, is the reduction in the equity that the company invests in. Now, as a central bank continues, the Federal Reserve continues to increase um, interest rate. And we see where the, the Fed is the most aggressive central bank when it comes on to increasing its policy rate. As the Fed increase the policy rate, the bond price fall off, all right? And that is affecting 
the investment that Google has in the bonds. All right. And also you can see where the US stock market is tanking out. All right. So the US stock market is in a tailspin right now and that is affecting the company's investment in equity in the stock market. So the bond fell off some 731 million dollar whereas equity investment fell off 647 million dollars but these are paper losses this are not, these are not real losses like real money all right so as the economy turns around and nobody knows how long this will take to turn around but as the economy turn around <coughs> sorry these <coughs> investment will recover from these losses and they will be um, profit to Google. All right, so what we want to do now, if you look at net profit, it's a bad look. Net profit fell off some 26%. Um, that fell to $13 billion coming from $18.9 billion. Not a good look. However, as I said, there are a lot of paper losses in Google's operation. All right, so what we want to do is to just go right to the cash flow to look at how the company operated as it relates to cash flow, the amount of cash flow that the company generated. Now, cash flow came in at $23 billion, and that is cash flow from operation. Now, we're saying that the company netted only $13 billion, but the cash that the company collected from operation was $23 billion dollar and the free cash flow this is what falls to investors all right was 16 billion dollar for the quarter all right so these are due to the paper losses that google experience and that is why the cash flows are greater than the net profit all right so it's a good look for google it's still a bad result miss Analyst projection by 15%. So they were expecting Google to perform better than it and um, than it does, all right, or than it did. However, the expense, um, the inflation, is hiking up the expenses, and this is pulling down Google's um, profit and profit margins. All right, so the inflation how the Federal Reserve will continue to fight inflation will be important, all right? Will give us an indication of how Google will continue to perform because it, it is the inflation that is impacting the company's result. It's still a bad result, but when you look at it from the cash flow perspective, it is not so bad a result. The company still still generates a lot of cash and if a company continues to generate cash what this means is that the company can continue to operate so the company has the ability to operate throughout this recessionary period all right because it is really generating a lot of cash and in this recession if it is that the co and the economy enters a recession it is a company that has enough cash all right that will be able to ride out this recession now one silver lining in all um, this dark cloud as it relates to google performance is that over this quarter this third quarter google employs some 37 thousand people so when you look at the employment number that went from 150,000 to 187,000 all right so this is telling something or something about management thinking of the future what is Google management thinking about the future they are investing heavily in R&D some 2.6 billion dollars and this um, is resulting in them having to employ some 37,000 people just for the third quarter. So even though there's a reduction in the net profit of Google, some 26%, the company is still employing people and is still doing their R&D expenses, what it is that Google is working on. All right. So 
that is it for Google's performance. We're expecting that tomorrow when this result seep into the market and soak into the market, we're expecting the stock to trade off some more come tomorrow. Now as I know a blue color finance and you don't know how the thing go over here, you know, I may beg my subscribers them for please like the video and for those of you who are see blue color finance for the first time like the video and subscribe to the channel and me chat to you in the next one